Yo, what's up, guys? Um, if you haven't already, please follow my Twitter. I post some of my work here on Twitter, and yeah, I just need some support on my Twitter. If you can, please do help very much. Also, if you haven't done so already, please uh, join this Discord server. This is uh, hold up. This is their their link. So if you can, um, please join the server. I'll put the I'll put the their link inside the the title, so you guys could join. There's many awesome things going inside the server. You could you could talk to people and also maybe show off some of your work. And yeah, we shall get right into the video. Yo, what's up, guys? So in today's video, I'll be showing you guys how to make low poly buildings inside of Blender. So first thing you're gonna do is obviously have the default cube right here. And then what you're gonna do is select it with left click, go into edit mode. And for now, I'm gonna go to my uh, my axis by pressing five and one. So it should put me in the front axis. So I'm gonna press Z and I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go into wireframe. So I just select the top, I go over here, I move it up, and that should be good. So I go to solid, I select all with A, and I scale on the X, uh, X axis. Oh yeah, also what I recommend before making these buildings is looking at reference images. So what I recommend you do is go on Google, search up like low poly uh, cartoony fantasy building. It should show you like some medieval type buildings. They can use for your work but for me right now i already have an idea so i don't i don't really, i don't really need a reference image so what i recommend doing now is go pressing s and scaling on the y-axis just like that and now i should have something like this or you should have something like this so i'm gonna add a loop cut press 2 just like this and i'll scale it on the y-axis again not too much, but just something like this. So after that, I'll add another loop cut inside the center. I'll bring this up a little bit. And this will be the other side of the building. So I press E and I'm just gonna select this face and just bring it out. Should be something like this. So this is basically just a simple layout of the building. When you have to lay out the building, what you're going to do is actually uh, press Ctrl R to loop cut. Select uh, the top edges of this building. Bring it up. Do the same thing for this side. Bring it up. And this should be something like this should be your results. So after doing that, what I recommend is making the front of the roof. So you're gonna you're gonna select this part, Shift D, scale it out, press E, and go to your faces again, extrude it inside like this. And also one thing I recommend is adding like little tiny details to it. So I'm just gonna loop cut it five times on both sides, just like that. And now I'm just gonna. Uh, drag this in by pressing G so it kind of looks like broken down like chipped out and this just adds a bit of more much more detail to your building just to like kind of bring a story to it like whenever I use this to make buildings it adds a lot of details to it it makes it look like not plain and basic and yeah this should be like something I have Look something similar to this. So what you're gonna do now is duplicate it with Shift D, bring it all the way to the end, and then now what you're gonna do um, is do uh, just select this, both of them, Control L, duplicate with Shift D, R, and then press Z. And then what you're gonna do now is scale this. Actually, hold up. You're gonna select this one bring this over here and just scale it out not uh, scale on your y-axis just to stretch it out and scale on your 
Z axis just to make it a bit flat just like that so I'm just gonna remove this one for now and you should have something just like this I'm gonna uh, duplicate this just bring it over here and yeah so this is where you're supposed to have so um to make the uh, root tiles for buildings like this what I recommend is adding a cube just like that bring out let me just bring out the cube scale it in make it flat with uh, Z S and Z and just scale it out a bit and I recommend pressing P and click selection so now what you're gonna do is go out to object mode and select the cube so now what you're gonna do is actually go back to edit mode on the cube bring it over here and just try to align it try to align it with the roof so I'll just do this something like this let me just bring it in a bit yeah just like that so now what you're gonna do is go over here go to modify properties add modifier and click array so what it should do is actually uh, make a bunch more root tiles so it you go over here and you keep going so if, you, if it's something that you like so five is good so what I'm gonna do now is click apply and now what I'm actually gonna do is select this part we're gonna make it like uneven so that I'm just gonna bring this part out you press G to just move it around so I'm just gonna move this one in I'm gonna move this one out and I'm gonna move this one out too and this one just made it more in so the results should be like this so now what I recommend is going to wireframe uh, press A uh, actually press A to select all uh, shift D to duplicate and just bring it up make sure it's like a bit higher than the the other one I just added. So just keep doing this to get all the way to the top. Just like that. So now you should have something like this. Oh yeah, also what I recommend for like problems like this. Oh, oh yeah, make sure like actually yeah this is good. Uh what I recommend for problems like this it's actually just going to edit mode uh, selecting the face of this or whatever edge it is just bringing it down just so it doesn't pop out there you go so now you're going to press A to select all of it shift D to duplicate and now you're going to rotate on your Z axis 90 degrees I mean 900 degrees uh, and then you just bring it over here just like that let me just bring this in a little bit and yeah that should be good okay. I'm just gonna bring it out a little bit more and I'll just bring this in so you should have something like this so now what you're gonna do is control A or I mean just A in general shift D Rotate on your uh, Z axis 900 degrees. Bring it up. And just bring it to the top roof. Just like that. So now for this one, just make this one more stretched out, like to the bottom. Just like that. So now all you just gotta do is stretch it out. Oh, like this on your Y axis. Yeah, there you go so that's how you make the root tiles for the building oh yeah careful because this try to align it so I'm just gonna bring this one up a bit there you go so after you aligned it what you're gonna do now is like I recommend you make the pillars uh, the pillars adds a, a lot more detail to your building so now what you're gonna do is just go to edit mode shift a click Q bring it out scale it in just bring it in a bit more bring it like down here and just scale it in a bit more 
and just bring this in like that and I'll just scale this in just a little bit more just like that and I'll just control to select only this duplicate bring it over here and just keep doing it for like all the sides so just like that so now I'm just gonna bring this one in a little, a little bit and I'll scale it up just like that there we go so oh yeah what I actually recommend for this too is just going over here and just bring this up and then I'll select it with control alt shift D to duplicate and I press R and then Z to turn it around I turn it to a 900 degree angle and then I just bring it over here so I select this one too and I'll duplicate it and bring it to the front just like that so you should have results like this your building should be coming together so now what I what I recommend to make like the door is just get a, a cube bring it out over here scale it in I have to scale it out a little bit more let me go up on top just bring it to the front align it to the green line bring it right here and now just bevel it bevel the top part to bevel all you just gotta do is go over here and select it with shift to select multiple uh, edges so now you press ctrl B to bevel just like that and I'll just do it just like this so I'll scale it in no, I, you know, I'll scale it on the Y axis to make it flat just like that so after you make it flat what I recommend doing is just selecting the front E scale it in uh, extrude it inside and uh, I'll just make this uh, much more skinny so after that I'm just gonna select this part duplicate it and I'll just stretch it out all the way to the top right here I'll also bring it in just a little bit more and then I'll just extrude it just like that I'll bring this to the top again and same thing that I did for the for this part of the roof I'll just press Control R to move cut, and I'll press 5 again. So now what you what you're gonna do is just bring this in to make it just look like broken down, just like that. And now I just duplicate it, scale it down like uh, with Z. Just bring it over here, scale it a little bit more, and then go to like uh, wireframe. So like this top part would be and just scale it up so after you've done that just keep duplicating it to like it reaches the top part and like you finish just like a ring it so I'm just gonna select this bring it up and I'll just keep doing that over and over till I get the results I like so something like this should probably be good I'm almost done so I'll just keep doing it and yeah that should be good so those are my results for the building yeah there you go and it just kind of makes the door kind of look like chip apart broken down so I'm just gonna go back to edit mode I'm gonna press shift a and add a cube I'll just scale it up down the Q uh, on the Z and I'll scale it in uh, on the Z axis, not the Z axis, the Y axis, just like that. So, this is basically the metal part of the door. So, like that. And same thing that we did for over here, the wood. We're just gonna look at it and just make it look broken down, just like that. And then we're just gonna duplicate it, bring it down, and just like this, it should be good. There you go.
Oh yeah, also make sure to separate the model, uh, the metal part. So that, like when we import it to Roblox Studio, you can texture it separately. And for the center door, like make sure you go all the way into the center right here and select it. Just press Shift D and extrude forward. So this part we're gonna make it a lighter, uh, lighter brown just to add a uh, nice effect. So with this door, this door part, we're gonna uh, add it to the root tiles. Not the root tiles, uh, the wooden roof. So now what you're gonna do is select the building, Control O, uh, press P, and selection. So now the uh, now the building is separate. So just like this, when we select the building, it's just separate by itself. So we could just texture it as its own. So now finally, the final part is making the window. So you could either make it a uh, you could either make it a cylinder or a cube window. So right now I'm just gonna go with a cube. I'm gonna scale it down, bring it to the front, and then I'll just bring it all the way up to the front, just like that. Scale it up, and I'll just bring it in. I'll just try it in just like this. extrude in and just again I'll extrude inside I'll select this part duplicate it S uh, S X to scale it in and I'll extrude it up I'll bring this part in a little bit and I'll just duplicate it I'll, I'll rotate on the Z on the Y axis like that and duplicate it and extrude just like that so now the center part will be where the uh, glow is for the window. So what we're gonna do is just duplicate around the building, keep adding it anywhere, just like that. Just get all around the building. Make sure like this doesn't go in, so that, like the window doesn't show its glow. So just bring it out a little bit more. Keep duplicating and just uh, add it around the building. Rotate it just like that. I recommend you add it on all sides. For the top part, just add one window. One window in the center, just like that. So just rotate it again on Z and just like that. And I'll just bring it in. Duplicate it. Bring it down all the way over here. Duplicate it again. And, and for the back part, I'll just add one more. And that should be it for the roofs, I mean, uh, the windows. So I'll just select the center part of the window that I duplicated. Whoops. I'll just select all of it. Just like that, Control L, and I'll press P. That should be it for Windows Wood. So, after I made the window, I'm gonna select this wood and click the Windows Wood. I'll press Control J to join it all together, just like that. And you can see, like, uh, the window part, like the glow part, isn't added to the wood part. So, everything is separate, just like that. And that should be your building. I'm gonna import into Roblox Studio real quick and I'll show you guys how to texture it. So after you have it imported into Studio, what I actually recommend for like coloring the building is selecting this, the wood part. Um, and I'm gonna make it like uh, it's this type of wood, like this type of color. Oh, right, let me just stretch this out a little bit. Just like that. Hold on. Just like this, this is good. And now for the roof. I either go for uh, a red or I go for a blue. So this is what red looks like and this is what blue looks like. So for this one, I'm just gonna go with red. And for the building, the center part of the building, I'll go with it like a tannish color. I'm just gonna go with something like this for now. And I'll just go over here to select the window. I'll select it just like that. And I'll go with like a lighter color, I'll go neon, and I just bring down the brightness. I'll just 
start bringing it around just seeing what color works so this is a nice aesthetic color so now I'm going to select the middle part I'm just going to click over here and I'll try to get the center part just like this just like that and I'll make it like a darker shade of wood no not darker uh, actually yeah darker or lighter I prefer going with lighter and yeah that should be a result for low poly building inside of blender or robot studio I'll be making more tutorials soon make sure to like and subscribe and also check out the discord server inside the comment on inside the description also leave a comment of uh, the discord server link so you guys can check it out and yeah thank you for watching if you haven't like and subscribe bye